Ed by Daylight's second biggest meta shakeup has just happened, with many meta perks being nerfed tremendously hard. First off, healing has been readjusted now to take 24 seconds by default instead of 16, so an 8 second increase. Along with that, medkits have been nerfed, so you will no longer get more than 2 heals per medkit now, as they say. However, I'm not too sure about that with perks like Streetwise, Botany Knowledge, and Built to Last. All medkits now have 24 charges instead of having varying amounts, and the speed for healing other survivors with medkits have been nerfed. Along with that, the emergency first aid kit has lost its benefit of having increased self healing speed, which is amazing. The heal meta was very strong as is and made a lot of killers very hard to play since they would rely on splitting pressure or hit and run, but their playstyle could be invalidated in 10 seconds by survivor with a medkit. Now it'll be much easier for killers to spread pressure and not have to effectively waste their time when they break a chase only for the survivor to heal themselves 10 seconds later with a medkit. Now to the perks, and many perks have just been straight up killed. Gearhead has gotten a buff, which is nice I guess. I mean, nobody uses it, but that's the point of a buff, so let's see how it will play out. Now Gearhead will reveal survivor's ores for 8 seconds when the perk is active if they hit a good skill check. This still doesn't seem too strong, but it's more information than before, so we'll see if it's worth running now, but I doubt that. Overzealous has gotten a pretty nice buff, now applying to Blessing a Totem and an increased amount of gen speed, up to 10% now. Blessing a Totem has always been better than destroying one, so this is an amazing change for the perk, but I still doubt that people will use this over other perks. Sadly, Pain Resonance has gotten another nerf this patch, and as you'll see in this patch, is extremely hard for no reason and basically ruins the perk. Pain Resonance will now have 4 tokens, and the first time a survivor is injured, the perk will activate like before. I don't get why this perk had to be nerfed again. Do they just want all generator regression perks nerfed? Like they could have nerfed this in any other way, but they will take the nuclear option and just gut the perk entirely. Pain Resonance has always been one of the more balanced gen regression perks, so I don't see why this needed a nerf at all. They say because it was slowly creeping back into the meta, but I mean, it was better than the gen kick meta, so why nerf it? Now, another perk that has been super nerfed is Dead Hard. Now it will only become usable after performing a safe unhook, just like Deliverance. So now, the perk is inactive until you safely unhook someone, then will deactivate once you land a successful dead hard. So, if you manage to do a dead hard and the killer doesn't fall for it, it will still be usable the next time you're injured. And will only go away once you get hit. Again, this is another nerf that's super confusing and super harsh. They say that they want it to be a powerful reward, but I just think that they wanted to get rid of this perk and have people stop complaining about it. Now it's time for Sprint Burst to take over the meta after Dead Hard's long range. Fuck Dead Hard, I'm glad it's dead. Circle of Healing has gotten a nerf just like everything meta in this patch. Circle of Healing has lost its ability for survivors to self care in it unless they have a med kit, and now will only give a 50% speed increase to healing other survivors. And it will reveal the aura of injured survivors while they're in the radius. I genuinely love what they've done to Circle of Healing now. Now it will function as an actual Circle of Healing, as survivors will need to be altruistic and heal each other, instead of setting up an area where survivors can just run in and heal themselves after a chase and get back on a gen after 10 seconds because they got to heal themselves for free. This is genuinely so much nicer sounding to play against, since now you don't have to worry about hearing a boon go off and know that your survivor will just run to that boon, heal themselves in 10 seconds, and you've wasted your time since you didn't down them in the chase. And finally, the gen kick meta has died. The two final nerfs of this patch were Call of Brian and Overcharge. Call of Brian will now regress at 125% speed instead of 200% speed, and Overcharge will now regress from 85% up to 130%, from 75% to 200%, and the skill check has gotten a 1% nerf. Truly now, all of the meta options for generator regression have just been nerfed, and none of them really seem good right now. The only good gen regression perk we have now is Basically just jolt I think. I know Call of Brian definitely needed a nerf as it was an instant 200% regression, but I don't think Overcharge needed a nerf as it needed 30 seconds to ramp up, which is way easier to counter than Call of Brian, which is instant. At this point, I don't at this point I have no clue what will be meta, so I guess it's just time to lab. Along with this, Hillbilly has gotten a buff, but there's no concrete numbers yet. All that's been said is that revving the chainsaw will take up less heat, and the sprint burst will generate slightly more heat. I still don't think that Billy ever needed the heat mechanic in the first place, but I guess this is a good buff for him. Then his doom and death engravings will provide less speed and increase more heat, but I have no clue about these since I don't ever play Billy. The Pig, Oni, Nightmare, and Executioner have gotten some add-on buffs, but none are really worth talking about, there are only some slight number buffs. However, the clown's redhead pinky finger has gotten a nerf, making it more in line with other iridescent add-ons, decreasing the amount of max bottles by 3, up from 2, so that means 3 less bottles. 
Light burn has been removed and I honestly agree with this change as it really was a product of its time and just felt really outdated as is now. Wraith and Nurse can no longer be burned out of their power and the artist's crow swarms can no longer be dispelled with flashlights. I genuinely have never seen a nurse get light burned before unless it's four survivors all beaming her at once and same with the artist as it's always just been easier to hop into locker and get rid of the swarm instead of wasting flashlight charges on it. And since they were messing with flashlights, the hag's traps can no longer be destroyed by flashlights, but now survivors can perform an action to safely remove the traps. They say it will take several seconds long, so I imagine it will be the same as disarming a trapper trap, but now it'll make it so you can't have your trap destroyed mid-chase by a survivor with a flashlight. Overall, this is a huge balance patch, on par with 6.1.0 I'd say, with it being mostly nerfed to the meta. I'm not sure if I really agree with most of the changes this patch, mostly to pain res and overcharge, as I'd say those were two of the more balanced gen regression perks. The dead hard, circle of healing, and call of rhine nerfs I am happy with though, even if the dead hard nerf is super extreme and confusing as to why it works now, but I guess they just want it to be a strong reward now. I am glad that the healing meta has been fixed now, so now the killers who needed to rely on chaining hits or spreading injuries can play the game again, instead of having to worry that the second they split off from a chase, the survivor will go instantly heal themselves after 10 seconds. And now the killers who rely on injuries like Dredge and Oni and even Twins will now be more fun to play as. And with that, it's your boy, Donut Boy, signing off. I hope you all have yourselves a damn good one.